As the new protagonist Kasuga Ichiban steps into the spotlight for Yakuza Like a Dragon, developer RGG Studio proves it can still capture its signature blend of gripping melodrama and absurdist humor while creating something genuinely fresh for the long-running franchise. It's not just in the slick transition from action brawler to turn-based combat, it's that the party dynamic in Like a Dragon enables a new kind of story that the series hasn't explored before, one that focuses on the power of embracing friendship and fighting together every step of the way. Like a Dragon starts anew, providing an entry point for those who have never played a Yakuza game before, but it wouldn't be a proper series entry without the core tenets that define Yakuza. Things like captivating, exposition-heavy cutscenes, exciting over-the-top fights, and a wealth of side activities that flood the streets of a lifelike Japanese city. In true Yakuza fashion, the tangled web of alliances, betrayals, secrets, and shifts in power across different organizations serve as the foundation for much of its character-driven story, and it's as sweet as ever here. Much of what propels like a dragon is the connection that Ichiban shares with his Tojo clan boss and father figure Masumi Arakawa. Things change over time though, and that good-natured kid who grew up loving Dragon Quest and doing harmless errands for the gang now has a lot to learn about the criminal underworld. Ichiban is loud, goofy, naive, but always well-meaning. Others are there to help him learn and grow, and he stays dedicated to the people around him. His companions, whose circumstances bring them together, help uncover the mystery behind his exile to Ijinsho, Yokohama, where most of the game takes place. Adachi is the ex-detective whose goal is tied to yours. Nanba is the homeless man who saved your life, with more to him than he lets on. And Saiko is the barmaid who gives back the unconditional support she gets from the crew. The familiar theme of deep emotional bonds is what Like a Dragon uses to bring something new to the series' strong established style of storytelling. You have a cast that gets into trouble and fights, drinks, and celebrates together, and they carry each other to the end. Much of the Yakuza series thus far was about the struggles of Kazuma Kiryu, a man who has a heart of gold, yet always kept everyone at arm's length. Like a Dragon, however, explores the power of letting people in, and it embraces the uplifting social dynamic its characters create. Okay. Okay, my ass. Are you dragging us into another mess? You're finally starting to understand me, Nurse Namba. Well, that's a bad sign. You in, Adachi-san? About going up against a guy even the police are scared of. My detective instincts are telling me, hell yeah, let's do it. In Yokohama, you'll cross with the Japanese Seiryu clan, the Korean Gomiju, and the Chinese Lo Mang, and the unnerving tension between them and other outside organizations enriches the narrative. It's an ever-evolving game of 4D chess that makes you eager to see what happens chapter after chapter. Like a Dragon gets political too, and it takes narrative opportunities to express clear opposition to anti-immigration, anti-sex work, and anti-poor politics in key story beats. And these themes also become part of what drives Ichiban and company. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. Now I'm a sucker for Yakuza stories. However, I'm willing to admit that Like a Dragon does try to pull one too many easy plot twists and perhaps bites off more than it can chew at the tail end. They're not bad story beats per se, but they can feel overbearing when there's already enough enticing narrative established. Regardless, Yakuza has built a reputation on captivating drama and strong characterizations, and it's those expectations that its games will be judged by. With that criteria in mind, Like a Dragon hardly ever misses. Hey, how's it going? Well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? these guys. When fighting, Ichiban's imagination runs wild. In his mind, he sees himself and his friends as the heroes of the day, just like in Dragon Quest. In battle, enemies transform into possessed beings, silly delinquents, or just bad dudes with glowing red eyes. And your own party members transform into their equipped jobs with sometimes ridiculous costume changes. Like a Dragon asks you to suspend your disbelief, more so than previous Yakuza games, to accommodate Ichiban's childlike but invigorating imagination. And you know what? I'm here for it. The turn-based combat system has you managing your party's various capabilities and strategizing to dispatch enemies in smart ways. When you barrel down consecutive fights in dungeon-like scenarios, combat maintains a steady, enjoyable flow, whereas the bigger set-piece boss fights test your command of the system. It comes together remarkably well for Yakuza's own RPG debut. 
Combat is also an opportunity for the game to crank up Yakuza's tradition of ridiculous over-the-top moves, and the intricacies of combat are driven by the job system, which is essentially a set of swappable character classes that play differently with their own goofy unique abilities. Like a Dragon isn't without its faults, however. The last few chapters of the game began to rely on long, drawn-out fights. I still had to stay sharp, but some later bosses boiled down to a war of attrition. Although I love that the game can be really challenging, a little grinding was required to even survive against some bosses. Thankfully, there's at least an avenue for that. You should also be aware that there is a point in the story where you're required to have lots of money, which can also break the pace if you don't. The new location of Ijincho offers its own distinct vibe. Compared to Kamurocho, it feels like taking a deep breath of fresh air when you walk through the open spaces of Hamakita Park, through Isazaki Road's shopping areas, and through the streets of Chinatown. Even the alleyways and homeless camps of the lower class areas breathe life into Ijincho in equal measure, and the city is bustling with things to do outside of the main story, as is Yakuza tradition. My personal favorite of karaoke is back. The rhythm minigame presents another avenue for characters to express themselves in an especially charming fashion. Ichiban Confections, the business management simulator, is the very important money-making minigame too. You help a family grow their business from a hole-in-the-wall pastry shop to becoming C-suite executives. It's silly as hell, but quite involved as you need to manage employees, make investment decisions, and play a separate and hilarious minigame of frantically arguing with shareholders. There's also Dragon Kart, which is an entire kart racing minigame with its own ridiculous side story and tournament style challenges. The last one I'll mention is the quiz minigame, which exists under the guise of an adult school where Ichiban learns about history and culture. These activities are lively and rewarding in their own small ways. Even after spending 40 hours with Yakuza Like a Dragon to complete its main story and experience a decent chunk of optional content, there's still more to see and do with sub-stories and optional quests. Now as the game executes on a melodramatic, multifaceted conclusion typical of Yakuza, you're encouraged to reflect on the hardships and tragedies Ichiban had to endure. You can see the journey, the struggles, the challenges, the growth, and the friendships worn plainly on his face. Yakuza has a penchant for exaggeration. This game really goes for it, and it works. Ichiban is an expressive character, sometimes to the point of parody, but it's endearing and often inspiring. He's also what his friends have made him through their own personalities and their sense of justice. A hero. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero, just like you wanted. At so many moments, I stood up screaming at my TV from absolute hype, seeing how Ichiban develops and how Like a Dragon ties back into the broader Yakuza lore. Ichiban stands tall among the legends that the Yakuza games have created, and I can't help but feel a reinvigorated passion for the franchise. For RGG Studios' first crack at an RPG, it's a damn fine result. It delivers what I love most about Yakuza and introduces new ideas that largely pay off. Ichiban isn't doing it alone either. He has friends and mentors who've helped him fight and overcome personal tragedies, and that's what's most important for a game so focused on its characters. Yakuza Like a Dragon is a passing of the torch, and a fantastic entry in a beloved franchise that proves that it's in good hands with Kasuga Ichiban. Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! <laughs> 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 